Hello, and welcome to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional. Today, March 17, year 2024, my name is Adele Kobolanle, and our topic for today is Remembered for What? Let us pray. Eternal Rock of Ages, we say thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for the privilege to be alive and to study your word. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that through your word you will speak to us, you will enlighten us, and you will make our hearts open to your knowledge in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. So our memory verse for today is taken from Proverbs chapter 10 verse 7, which says, The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. I will take it again. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 7. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. And our Bible text is taken from Acts chapter 9, from verse 36 to verse 42. And it reads, Now there was at Joppa a certain disciple named Tabitha, which by interpretation is called Dorcas. This woman was full of God good works and arms did which she did. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Whom when they had washed, they laid her in the upper chamber. And for as much as Lydia was nigh to Joppa, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber and at and all the widows stood by him weeping and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them but Ju- peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turned into the body said tabitha arise and she opened her eyes and when she saw peter she sat up and he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive. And it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us go into the open heavens as we sing by our Father in the Lord. Knowing fully well that there is a time to be born and a time to die, we ought to be thankful to God for each day that he gives to us. I, however, have a question I would like you to answer sincerely. What will people remember you for after you've left the hurt? Another question which I con- consider even more important than the initial one is, when your time is up on earth, what account will you give to God of how you spend your, how you spent your life? Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 says, and as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this judgment. In other words, death is not the end of our existence, but rather a transition to another state. One way our lives carry our own after death is through the things we are remembered for. There are those whose remembrance brings gladness and joy, while the remembrance of some others bring bitterness and sorrowful memories. One woman who was remembered for good after she died was Dorcas. She was one of the early believers in the Lord, and she lived a good life of service and righteousness. This is the testimony of her life as written in Acts chapter 9, verse 36. This woman was full of good works and harms did, which she did. A lesson here for us is that our good works play a great role in showing our faith and commitments to God. Speaking on this, James chapter 2 from verse 15 to 17 says, If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding, ye give them not those things which are needful to the body. What doth it profit, even so faith, if it hath not work, is dead being alone. The gospel of Jesus must find practical expression 
in your life through your good works. The testimony of the brethren concerning Dorcas confirms this. She was so full of good works that the church found it difficult to accept her demise, and so she was brought back to life. Psalm 102 verse 5 to 6 says, A good man showed favor and lend it. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely it shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Beloved, what good deeds will people remember you for? Think about this and remember the words of today's memory verse. Hallelujah. Amen. So our topic for today is saying remembered for what? A very sincere topic that is calling most of us or let me say all of us to think about our life and how we are living our life. Yesterday we spoke about selfless living, living selflessly. Then today we are talking about remembered for what? What are you going to be remembered for? None of us will live on earth forever. No matter how long you live, you will die one day. Everybody will die one day. The question, however, is after you die, what will people remember you for? Would they cause your memory? Would they bless your memory? There are people that have died, and when people remember them, they only send curses to them. While there are people that have died, and when people remember them, they send blessings and even weep that that person is no more. So this morning, our Father and the Lord is using the example of Tabitha, who while she was living, she was so close for the widows, she was blessing people with the things that she had, she gave to the poor, such that even when she died, the church had to go and look for Peter to say, Peter, please come and wake this woman up. We don't want her to go. We want her to stay with us. That was how good she was. So our Father in the Lord is calling us today to think about our life, to make amends and remember what would we be remembered for. Our Bible in one year is taken from Judges chapter 14 to 16. And our hymn for today is Guide Me, O Thou Great Jehovah. A key point says, Seize every opportunity that God brings your way to do good to all men. So as we go today, seek every opportunity to do good to all men. Do good to everybody around you, to people that you find on the way. Do good to everybody. And I pray that the Lord will help us and will grant us the grace to do good in the name of Jesus. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to like and to make comments on this podcast. Thank you very much for listening. Have a blessed day and God bless you.